and welcome back to the Morning Blend. So the valley is full of history and it's up to us, we were just talking about, it's up to us to preserve it. Mm -hmm. The Mammoth Penny Push is underway to support the Tule Springs Fossil Beds National Monument. That's right, and here with more is Sherry Grothier. She is the Director of Protectors for Tule Springs. Also with us, John Burpee. He is the Superintendent with the National Park Service over at Tule Springs Fossil Beds National Monument. Mm. It's great having you. Great being here. Thank you very well, much. I remember uh, last year they had made the announcement that this national monument was going to be made. It's a very important thing. Uh, the Penny Push. Let's talk about this and how it helps. Great. Well, the Mammoth Penny Push is an initiative that we launched in Clark County uh, School District last Monday. Mm -hmm. It's basically to introduce students district wide to this amazing resource that's right in their backyard. And then it has the penny drive element, and we're collecting funds from um, last Monday through April 29th um, to kind of support the park and make those kids feel like they're part of building their new national monument. So is it a competition between different classrooms, different schools to say who can collect the most pennies? There are multiple um, competitions going on. We have prizes both at the school and the classroom level. So some schools have decided to go in and all work together toward one end. Yeah. Others are pitting classroom against more, classroom. More, okay. more like a hunger so, game. Yeah. So. <laughs> whatever, whatever gets the yeah. job done, really. Right. And it's, I know it's an educational event, but really anybody and everybody can get involved with this. Everyone in the community, if you have students in the in, in a Clark County School mm -hmm. District school, we would love you to go support the Mammoth Penny Pish with your kids in your school. Awesome. If not, uh, you can support Protectors of Tule Springs efforts by going to our website at tulespringslv.com. Awesome. Okay, and I'm so excited to talk about Tule. We both are because here we have history laying on the ground about 30 minutes uh, from the Las Vegas Strip, right? And what Tule Springs is, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I just learned this and I'm like fascinated by by it. 200,000 years ago, correct? Tule Springs used to be this plush area where Ice Age creatures would roam. And so now here we have the fossils. These are obviously not the real ones, right. um, but they still live there and we want to preserve them. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, what's in the ground there tells us a lot about our paleo past. It's, uh -huh. it's not just the big, you know, the big mammals that we normally think of, but we have fossilized seeds, we have fossilized pollen. So it's kind of neat is that 200,000 years to about 10,000 years ago, we've got this complete record as to how Las Vegas used to be a lot wetter and a lot cooler yeah. Yeah. Uh, and how it changed over time. And that's that's what we protect out there today. It's pretty interesting. So these are casts of actual fossils that's correct. Uh, found on the site. Where, where, what are we looking at here? So, you know, the, the fossils are very diverse. They range from the really large. So this is actually a single tooth from a, a, a Colombian tooth. mammoth. A tooth, so. sorry. <laughs> wow. Yes. Imagine. So if you see that, you can imagine how big up. he was. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Um, the, you know, the mammoths, 16 foot tall, um, oh. that were there, you know, they probably garnered the most attention. It's not just, you know, those plant eaters, but others, you know, camels we had, um, horses, there were bison, two extinct bison that lived there. And Ma of course, were plant eaters. Exactly. Whew. So right, plant, right. but wherever you have large numbers of plant eaters, yeah. you also have oh. folks like this guy. Oh. Uh, wow. There's a uh, cast of a saber toothed cat. Stood about as tall as my shoulder. No. Um, uh, so significantly scary things if you were uh, walking around there back then. Uh, but it's really it's that complete ecosystem that's amazing to us. Paleontologist playground. Absolutely. Right? A absolutely. <laughs> and it's it's the science that will be done there. We can learn a lot, and that's why we're protecting it. You can hike. We just ask no one collect fossils or, or dig because uh, of course they're future and generations. No one trash it. Uh, yeah. So there were, exactly. there's been a trash problem at the site, hasn't there? Absolutely. There has been because it is just north of Las Vegas. It was really at risk for years from urban encroachment, um, recreational activity, mm -hmm. um, illegal dumping both from storm TVs, and industrial couches, waste. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, so the area right now doesn't look much like you think of a national monument. The goal of all the funds that we raise in the Mammoth Penny Push are going to help secure those um, sites mm -hmm. and clean up the mess that future or past generations left behind. So the future so generations can enjoy. Can enjoy. Right. And can Absolutely. learn, educate ourselves about our, our greater 
you know, Southern Nevada area. This is awesome. We Thank actually you. envision scientists coming to the Las Vegas Valley and studying the fossils and kids going, be, going out there and being able to watch that scientific research one-on-one. Mm. -on -one. It's a great thing that you guys are doing. We have to go. It's a pleasure. Thank you great. so much. Thank, Thank you for having you. us. Very Thank cool you. stuff. Save your pennies to help preserve history. The Mammoth Penny Push is going on now through April 29th. It's to raise much needed funds and awareness for Tule Springs Fossil Beds National Monument. You can also donate online on the website on your screen. Stay with us. We'll be back.